Yeah, I'll always be a metalhead. They, nothing can take that away from me. Right. I mean, not jail, not people, not religion, not anything. I'll always be a metalhead. 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 You're listening to The Great Metal Debate Podcast. Welcome back, metalheads, to another episode of The Great Metal Debate Podcast. It's me, Xander, once again with another album review. Today, we'll be looking at the grim and cult Norwegian black metal band called Tis Juder. Nah, I'm just joking. The band's name is actually pronounced like Shooter, and this is their sixth full-length studio album titled Hilfringer. This Craig outing was released on June 23rd through Season of Mist Records. I feel like the best way to describe this band would be like what would happen if a raw black metal band were to receive good studio mixing from a professional sound engineer. I was first introduced to this band way back in 2015 when someone recommended that I check out their 2004 album, Desert Northern Hell. Later on, I got my hands on a copy of their 2002 record, Demonic Possession. A few months ago, while I was working one of the football games at my job, I wanted to tune out the fucking annoying college marching band, so I started blaring the Kill for Satan album in my noise-canceling earbuds. To be honest, I have never been fully blown away by this band musically, but I enjoyed the very raspy vocals. To me, they are the closest to Pest-era Gorgoroth that we're going to get, despite the less desirable production. Shooter has always been a standout among all the others in the genre, because they don't sound like their music was recorded with a potato, or an old Nokia phone that you could play Snake on. If you're new to this band, most of the black metal elitists would point you in the direction of their older material, but on the other hand, I would strongly suggest introducing potential new fans to this album. I feel like showing the younger generation the raw side of this band might be a turnoff, but this album manages to keep the raw feel while still having some standout guitar riffs. A great example of this would be in the hit new track titled Press to Hammerin. Another one would be for their song, Gods of Black Blood, and it even has a nice corny music video to go with it. Sometimes cheesy black metal music videos work, and other times they don't. In this case, it does. It has everything you could ever want in a black metal music video, from burning inverted crosses, to skulls, and the band members carrying torches, and screaming into the camera with full corpse paint. Iron Beast is a great way to begin this record, but Surtur is one of my favorites. If we're going to be completely honest, this album is good at maintaining its prowess, but at the same time, it also lacks a lot of pizzazz. There isn't a whole lot of standout moments throughout the record, aside from the guitar playing that I just mentioned. But if you enjoy this particular style of black metal, then I can see the more loyal fans getting a kick out of it. I could do more for this review, like give shoutouts to the band members, or try to pronounce some of their foreign song titles, but I just don't see any real reason for me to put more effort into this. Again, this is a good album, but at the same time, it's not something that I want to rattle on and on about. In conclusion, I don't mean to be so lukewarm about a band that I like, but I'm not going to give this album a higher rating than a 7 out of 10. If you want to support them, you can get yourself a nice little patch for your battle vest, like I did for mine, or you can buy their merch from their Bandcamp page. <laughs> 